A few days ago, I was super excited to find out that I had been given access to ChatGPT Plus as a plugin model. And I was even more excited to discover that I could use the Zapier plugin to send my ChatGPT conversations directly into my Reflect notes. So I'm going to show you how to do that. It will appear in Reflect, my note-taking app here. And I should warn that you will, of course, need access to the plugins model. So if you select this, you can see all the models you have access to. If you don't yet have access to the plugins model, make sure that you've at least joined the wait list so that you can get access sooner rather than later. But once you have access to the plugins model, you can do this as I'm about to show you. So to start with here, I've got a clean slate. So I need to add the Zapier plugin through the store. There's not too many apps on their store yet. You'll have to go to the second page to find Zapier, but we'll go ahead and install that. And it's going to pull up this uh, Zapier integration page. So you'll need to allow to give it access. And these are actually my actions that I've already added, but you won't have any when you do it for the first time. So click on add action. And you can just type in add. Maybe I'll say add note to reflect. And you can just search that and come down here and find the reflect one to so reflect create note. And then you're going to set up your account. So again, I already have mine added because I've had it added a few here, but you will need to connect to your account when you do it for the first time. And for the, you can also use their buttons down there that are quite easy. For the note subject, I'm going to leave it as having AI guess the value for this field because I'm going to be doing something different each time. So I don't want to set it as a value. Now for the graph ID, I do want to set a specific value for that because I'm going to be sending it to the same graph each time. So you can just put your graph name in there. Um, and I'm not going to enable this because I've already enabled it twice. So, um, oh, I guess it did there. Well, it added it, but it didn't enable it. Uh, so you'll be able to see all of your actions here. And once it's set up, you can just close the action page. So now we have this enabled and we should be able to do it. But first, we're going to need some information. So let me move my profile over to the other side. And uh, I'll just use my basic test one. I'll say, what's the best time of year to visit Colorado? So. I'm just using this as an example query so that it gives me uh, some information just so that I can do a test of sending it to reflect. So, um, wow, that's quite a comprehensive answer. I was hoping it was going to give me just like a, like a simple, simple one sentence one, but I guess it's outlining all the seasons because there's a lot of great times too with Colorado. So give it a moment there when it's done. But, uh, essentially what we're going to do after this is all the commands happening from the chat box. So there's no save icon or anything. We're going to do everything through the chat here. So once it's done, I'm going to assume that's all the information that I wanted and that I want to <laughs> save all of this very comprehensive information on Colorado into my reflect nodes. Uh, and we're just going to ask it to do that. So let's give it a whirl. Perfect. So if you see what I typed in here, can you please save this to my reflect notes using Zapier? So that will tell it to use the Zapier integration and the AI will know through that command I set up. So what we'll probably see happen here right now, you can see it thinking in the kind of chat GPT plus icon and there it just switched to the Zapier plugin. So now it knows to use the plugin and it's essentially just running the Zap for us on the end now. And expand this here and you can actually see the request that it's sending, which is quite cool. And I should warn that this, as you're seeing, does take a little bit of time. It has to reform the entire request there. So it takes a bit of time for it to type, but you can do this with the whole thread. So right now I just have one request in here, but if you had a bunch of requests, let's say you maybe spent 30 minutes or an hour doing a query with chat GPT, it will send the entire query into your notes. So again, if that's very long, it might take a little bit of time, but I'll pause this while it finishes. Okay, so it's finished the query. And actually, for the first time, I got this error, which I've never gotten before, which is just that the value is too long. Um, but fortunately, it doesn't just glitch. It gives me this nice prompt. 
where it said it exceeded the limit that's allowed by reflect because I do have a character limit set on there. I don't have my API keys added because uh, I unfortunately don't have access to the GPT-4 API key yet. Um, so yeah, let's, let's have it summarize it. And so now it will, it's very smart. It's going to run the same query now, except it will run a summary through instead of the entire text. So hopefully this will take a little bit less time here. All right, here we are again, it's completed. And this time it was successful. So we've got the request, we've got the response here. And it's got a little note that it's prepared the summary and it's good to go. But before it's saved, it asks to review and confirm, which is actually a great feature because, you know, you won't clutter up your notes unnecessarily. So we will click on this. Perfect. And it gives us this confirmation page with the note breakdown and everything. And we can go ahead and run. should run it there for us. All right, there it goes. So that took just a few seconds there. Uh, and it gives us this nice message that we can now close this out. And if you go back to this screen, it gives you this prompt that you can set up a Zapier workflow if you'd like to. I'm not going to do that right now, but let's go check and see if our notes there. I'll move myself back over here and let's go to all notes. And here we are. Best time to visit Colorado. So what I love about this is that, well, actually a new thing that I learned that I love about this is that it actually notes that it's summarized, which is very nice. Um, but the notes appear very, very clean. So coming in here, this is just the information that I want. And now at any point in time, I can just search for the best in, the best time to visit Colorado. And I've got this summary in my note. So again, this is really great when you do kind of long intellectual spars with ChatGPT and you want to save the final information. And remember, if you want to get around that character limit or the AI assistant, you can just input your open AI API keys for either GPT 3.5 or GPT 4. And search our YouTube page. We've got a couple of videos on how to do that. I will link to it in the description.